Meow. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a game called Pit People. This is a game I'm really excited for. Reason being that it was made by the same folks that did Castle Crashers and Battle Block Theater. So let's just get straight into it here. Select a save spot, swing point. Sure, welcome to Early Access. The game is not finished. So if you don't know anything about what Pit People is, it is a turn-based strategy game that is absolutely bonkers, which is like the only thing I've seen in terms of headlines. But it's supposed to be like an adventure slash co-op turn-based game game. So we'll see exactly what that all means, but I just want to play right away and see what happens here. So we're going to do single player. You can play this locally, or you can play it online, co-op. But we're going to do single player here just to see what it's all about and get ourselves into it. Hopefully there's like a tutorial of sorts, some sort of something to help us figure out what to do when we play. I would assume there is. I find myself wondering what the world must have been like before the bear crashed into our frail planet, transforming all we once knew into a colorful kaleidoscope of delicious chaos, and I love it. The world was more hospitable, no doubt, more orderly, more sensibly sickening because it sounded boring, and I hate being bored. I can't imagine a world without the bear or the storms. Yes, the bear. The storms. Beautiful waves of emerald blood cry down from the heavens, promising death in lawless disarray, constantly upsetting the order. I get butterflies in my tummy just thinking about it. Yes. Yes! Speaking of which... Huzzah! Okay, so now here's Let's the game. Oh, it's Horatio, the humble blueberry farmer, loving father, and the most boring creature on the face of this planet. But what's this? Looks like you've got a spicy situation on your hands, hmm? Well, it's been nice knowing you, Horatio, not really, but now it's time for you to die. Yes, how exciting. Not for you, of course. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, I it's that juicy family I told you about? Quick, the storm's coming. Kill the farmer, eat the child, take the house. Oh no, don't run, I need you. Oh God. All so much for the kid. Wait, what? Stay away from my family. All right, so we're on a giant blueberry farm here. This is a turn-based adventure game. Just tell Horatio where to go. All right, let's see what we do here. We gotta tell Horatio where to go. We can set the path, so... Okay, so I get to pick where I want to go. I'm using a controller right now. You can use a mouse, keyboard, or controller. Let's go right here, I guess? I don't know. And I can click to undo. It recommended I go right here, so let's just try that. Hold the end turn. Okay. Shields are great for blocking arrows. The heavier the shield, the more you'll block. What do I do? Nothing? So, am I choosing to block? Oh! 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 Am I okay? I think I'm okay. Oh, God. Okay. Stay in the house there, little buddy. Am I gonna kill all these people? So, what if I try to hit, hit you now? Dimples. Let's go for it. Oh, get wrecked! And now, again, I have the shield, and they're all just moving, right? Is that what they're doing? Or do I have to touch something? No, okay, they were just moving. Horatio dies. <laughs> Horatio's not gonna die today, narrator! Dude, this is kinda cool. I really like the art style. Really like the art style. I'm really curious to see what all the different units are, too. So, if I move here, can I attack both of them? How does that work? Hmm. Positioning determines your target. So if I'm right here, then I'll hit both of them? Okay, let's try that. I want to see if I have to actually touch him or if this will work. Okay. But I only hit that guy. Hmm. The bear blood's getting worse. Oh, is that what that is? Is that the rain? Yeah, I don't give a shit with the bear. <laughs> oh my god, ew. Well, that made things a lot easier. Oops, butterfingers. Naughty boys who don't listen get punished. Oh my god! He just murdered his kid! Holy shit! What the hell is he holding, by the way? I just remembered I gotta be someplace, jerk middies. Is he really gonna bail? Oh, you bitch! 
<laughs> I was joking about eating your delicious child. You're gone, child eater. He's not dead? Oh, come on. How are you not dead? So he's retreating. And he can attack when he retreats. Okay. Interesting. Let's try this again. So if I sit right here, I should be able to attack him even without touching him, right? All right. Cool. This is cool. I'm liking this, man. I like strategy games. With nothing but a handful of blueberries and a stupid look on his face, Horatio set out to find some shelter, burdened uh -huh. with the realization that none of this would have happened had he listened. And so to make I matters can. worse, he's got weak arms, and he's not all that handsome. I don't <laughs> see what all the fuss is about. But all of this will haunt him until I decide to end his misery. What fun. Are you the bear? Because like, the narrator and the bear are two different things? Oh, so we can keep... Can we walk on the water? We can't walk on the water. But I'm kind of- I'm controlling the character right now, which is really cool. So how do I get through all these things? Do I gotta like find my way around? Huh, so this is the adventure part of the game that I was telling you guys about, right? I don't know if those can actually hurt me. Those giant drops of bear blood. So what's going on here? Can I actually like touch things? Okay. So what did what's I just get myself this? into? A beautiful lady. She looked hungry. Horatio shared his blueberries. Hey! <laughs> no, you shared your berries. Huh? How generous of you. you her name was Pipistrella, and though she looked more than capable, she requested Horatio's aid. You see, her castle was raided by grumpy warriors, and she doesn't like that very much. Go on, my little hero. Perhaps this could become a mutually beneficial relationship. <laughs> I love the narrator in these games. Battle Block Theater had a great one, and this is the same. It's just as great. You're too late, princess! Stay away from my father. Okay. So now we might have a party going on here. The game does a really good job of just getting you into it. told me you guys are stupid and weak. I don't know why he'd say that. Okay, so she has a really tiny shield, right? Okay. I love his blueberries. King Papa something. Give her the wand! Here we go, with the staff. This is so great, I love this game. Swords are weak against helmets, but maces, or mallets, are strong against helmets. They bonus damage, in fact. And these guys all have helmets. So again, if I... I can do a sucker punch. Really? Well, okay, look at this, we got sucker punch. Or are these the names of the characters? Oh, Tooth Smasher. Okay, this is the name of the characters. Now, you don't have enough room because they got to cross on over here. But I would love to be able to attack multiple people. So again, I'm going to move right here. And she's going to do that. Now, I can't do anything right now. And these guys all have helmets. So I might back up with our girly friend here and see if we can get some double damage going on. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Let's really think about this. All right, so I'm gonna go here, and then we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see if we hit both of them. So yeah, she only aims at one of them, and I did almost no damage with the sword. Like it was a oh god. Oh 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 oh! So that was not a good spot. <laughs> Maybe I should have planned that out a little bit better. But now, if you could attack him. Right, and then maybe you should attack him as well to try to finish him? We'll see. Would that not work? Or do you just stay here and I can attack? Let's try that. Oh, so she changes who she attacks. Okay. Hmm. Dude, she's gonna die. Oh, this critical hits. That's good to know. How the hell are we gonna get those guys, by the way? Can I cross the moat? I'm not sure. Now, I wonder... You can move all your fighters before ending the turn. I wonder if having him in front of her makes it so she doesn't take that damage. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So let's just try to end the turn here. I don't really seem... Maybe I do get to choose who I attack. I don't know. But it looks like he's blocking a lot of that for her. Oh, dude, they can friendly fire, too. That's good to know. I wonder if friendly fire is going to be something I have to worry about. This game's so cool so far. I'm loving the atmosphere and all the bear blood. It's really interesting. This is so neat. Okay, so now I'm going to put you right here to make sure you attack. 
And I'm gonna put you right there. All right, let's end the turn. And then they move, and then he's gone. Great. Mm. I love strategy games, man. I really get into them. I don't play them too much on the channel because people, like, I guess traditional strategy games, people don't watch that much, but something like this, I wonder, you know? Would you guys be into something like this? I don't know. It's hard to tell. You soft skulls killed a few of my helmetites. We're done here. Oh, so they're not. They're okay, the castle's destroyed. We need extraction over, so maybe I can get them before they can extract. This isn't over yet, you cowards! Chaotic job, gentlemen. Go wreak havoc elsewhere. Oh, uh, sorry, Pip. Are you upset? Dude, this narrator's a penis. <laughs> oh no, not you! No! This has been so dramatic so far. The kid died and the king died. Oh no! Dude, she's mad. I'd be mad too. Helms forever. <laughs> How could you even have a heart, dude? How'd you break it? I'd been pissed at them right away. Move my camera here. Eh. There we go. Oh, too much. Oh god. A little bit of behind the scenes With here for you. With castle in ruins and a very dead daddy, Pipistrella accompanies Captain Worthless. And what a woman. Her optimistic outlook and reckless bravery captivated Horatio. So much, in fact, that he immediately forgot about his son and hey. his home and... Hey, no, you got it. Yes, you did. How did you wish that? Where I see. It? Horatio gave Pipistrella the remainder of his blueberries and they headed for the city. The perfect place to recuperate and make plans for Horatio's inevitable failure and death. Plus, there's a pretty good restaurant there that has great beef stew and cornbread. <laughs> Another game, I wouldn't say it's quite like this, but it kind of has a strategy element to it that really did well on YouTube, is Stick of Truth. Like, that was an RPG, and, I mean, this is... I don't know if I'd call this a full-blown RPG, but it's definitely a strategy game with an interesting story adventure behind it. And Stick of Truth had that as well. So it'll be interesting to see what you guys think. Dude, I'm loving this! Look at this little cupcake land over there, Candyland. This is so cool, and I like how it tells me where to go. I'm not just wandering. Oh god, bear blood! Yeah, apparently all this green stuff's bear blood. I don't know if there's like an apocalypse going on or what's going on. Lost press B. Okay. Well, what's going on here? Yes, the city. How it bustles with excitement. Keep your wallet in your front pocket. Hmm. We lost everything, but we can start anew. A fight in the pit should get us some gold. Let's try to find another fighter to help us out. Oh, can we get different fighters? Oh, look at all this. Okay, you know what, guys? I think this is a good spot to end this here, seeing as how we're just getting into a new area. I'm going to go ahead and keep playing this, and we'll do another episode. But in terms of, like, one episode, getting people into the game, I feel like having a shorter video is a good idea. So if you guys want to see more in the comments, let me know what you guys think. And if another way to let me know is by leaving a like. That's how I can tell. And if you want to see more and you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. That way you can see more pit people. I plan on streaming this. We actually stream twice a day on top of the videos we do. So I plan on streaming this as well, and maybe we can play online with some of you guys that are part of the community. We'll see if you guys have the game. But yeah. This name looks really cool so far. I'm really enjoying it. I love everything from Behemoth. That's the name of the company that has been behind Castle Crashers and Battle Block Theater and now Pit People. So yeah, it looks good. I like it. I hope to see you guys in the next video that we do around here.